The Go Global Silicon Lagoon mission aimed at exploring the booming Nigerian startup ecosystem, a collaboration of Startups to Be and Close the Gap, among others, had held a reception on March 21, 2019 at the Oko Hotel and Suite Sky Terrace in honor of the Belgian ambassador Daniel Deschamps and Belgian Minister of the Digital Agenda, Telecom and Postal Service, His Excellency Philippe Devacker. Startups to Be and Close the Gap joined forces to organize this unique mission in Nigeria, which is regarded as one of the most entrepreneurial countries in Africa, with a startup scene that attracts developers and investors from all over the globe. It was a great event for networking with local industry players and potential foreign investors. In attendance was the Oba of Lagos, His Royal Highness, Real One Akiolu. Youth for Technology Foundation is an international non-profit organization and we work at the intersection of entrepreneurship and education using appropriate technology. We've been doing this work for about 19 years in Nigeria. I'm really focused on young people and women um, living in low-income and developing world communities like, like countries like Nigeria. It's extremely exciting um, the way technology has evolved since we started our work 19 years ago. Initially, you know, it was all about just basic access to the internet and digital literacy was at the forefront of that access. But with um, you know the transformation of technology, now we're in the fourth industrial revolution. We're looking at emerging and disruptive technologies that really can move um, profit pools from, from producers to consumers. We're now in the gig economy and so technology has a huge role to play in terms of really democratizing innovation and um, creating opportunities for young people to thrive. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for, uh, for being here and uh, spending uh, the evening with us. It has uh, truly been a pleasure spending the last couple of days here with uh, the delegation of uh, 40 Belgian entrepreneurs uh, and NGOs trying to connect with all the things that are ongoing in, uh, in Nigeria. It is also an honor for me as a, a Belgian minister for digital agenda to see how vibrant the ecosystem is, is uh, here in uh, Nigeria and I think your presence here tonight shows that uh, you also have a, a great interest in uh, furthering the collaboration between uh, Belgium entrepreneurs, Nigerian entrepreneurs and to see how we can do business together in the future. Well, I'm leading a delegation of uh, 40 entrepreneurs and uh, some NGOs and the first thing we try to do is of course to see what the ecosystem here in Lagos looks like, what kind of businesses, what kind of entrepreneurs you have here. And we've encountered a very young and a very vibrant community, a lot of tech startups. And so it's really a discovery mission, but it's also making sure that we're able to network and to understand what's going on in Nigeria and Lagos. First of all, showcasing what you have to the world, that the world understands what is going on here. And we can help with that. Uh, the Belgium entrepreneurs are very much open for collaborations and to doing business here with people in Nigeria. So I think the internationalization, raising the level of ambition also going abroad, that's I think the next step. I think uh, we have a lot to offer, you also have a lot to offer. So let's see where we can find a match, where we can reinforce each other. I think it's really become a two-way street where uh, the Europeans, the Belgians can learn from what is going on in Nigeria and vice versa. You can use the technology that's developed in Europe also here in Africa and Nigeria. So it's a win-win for everybody in the end. For an ambassador, it is always rewarding to receive a minister with a, with a, who is accompanied by so many Belgian businessmen and businesswomen, in fact, and by a, a representative of various organizations. And in Nigeria, it has been long that Belgium, Belgium sent such a big mission. It's not only an important mission by the quality and the number of participants, but also by the fact it focuses on one of the most innovative and fast-growing ecosystems worldwide. Nigeria is the first economy in Africa, 200 million people, a big market, and also in uh, absolute uh, figures, it's the first economy. But also because the dynamism of uh, Nigeria is really amazing, and as the minister mentioned during his speech, uh, you, have, you live here in a really uh, vibrant uh, economy ecosystem, uh, especially in these new technologies. Uh, we really feel that these young ent entrepreneurs are really keen on developing new ideas, new uh, platforms, so startups. So I think that's if you have to be somewhere in Africa, you should be in Nigeria and 
Lagos, of course. I heard someone say uh, today that Africa cannot miss the digital revolution. And if there's one thing we learned uh, in the past few days, that this is absolutely not the case. I think it's um, very impressive what we've seen here. And um, it's really the entrepreneurial spirit, I think, that captures me the most. Um, Belgian startups and, and Belgians can certainly learn a lot of things uh, from the from the Nigerian entrepreneurs and from the Nigerian the Nigerian spirit. I want to thank all of you for being here. I want to tell, thank the Nigerian hosts, partners, friends, and family for being so grateful and so charming in in hosting us here. And I want to thank obviously all the Belgium uh, startups and NGOs. What I want to give as an extra message is that it was told about that we were here with NGOs and with startups, but actually what this mission is all about is actually showing that NGOs 2.0 are also startups, are also entrepreneurs and are trying to look at finding ways to actually better overcome um, societal challenges, whether it's in aid, of, uh, in medical, in education, in, in technical support or in agriculture, we see that technology today can really make impact and be more efficient, be more um, cost, cost efficient and, and more effective in, in its mission.